uh, like show all these all these features that I have talked about. And uh, yeah, over to you, Amit. Thanks, Aranya. Uh, thanks for uh, displaying all the new features that we have with the Litmus 3.2 and how uh, we have uh, changed the uh, usage of chaos and uh, the curation of experiments from uh, Litmus 2.0 to Litmus 3.0. A lot of new features are there. So now like we'll be uh, moving forward with the demo. So in this demo, like I'll be showing uh, uh, all the new features that we have with Litmus 3.0 and uh, we have a, a demo setup which is running and we'll be uh, creating some chaos experiments and we'll be uh, playing with the chaos studio. So let's get started. So as you can see in my screen that this is the new UI of uh, uh, chaos center 3.0. And with Litmus 3.2, like we have a lot of new features that are uh, um, available now. So as mentioned by Saranya, like we have a new feature of environment, which actually helps us to like uh, differentiate or uh, create chaos between multiple types of environment, like pre-production or production. And uh, we have uh, a resilience probe. Like earlier with Litmus 2.0, we were having pros inbuilt in the uh, experiment manifest, but like th this is completely a new feature now in which you can con configure your probes and you can use these pluggable checks in your experiments. And like we previously had the Kiosk Hub and uh, the major refactoring on major work that went in with Litmus 3.0 was the flow of experiment creation. So we have introduced Kiosk Studio, which actually allows user to, you know, create experiments with a very, very, very smooth flow. And yeah, so, uh, before going to the demo or like before creating some experiments, I wanted to show the demo setup that we are running. So in this demo, we'll be uh, using an online boutique app, which is basically an e-commerce app. So as you can see that uh, just like a normal e-commerce app, uh, it has got a lot of uh, uh, functionalities. Like this is the uh, product catalog service. And with that, we have some uh, currency generator service. Um, we have the checkout and cart service and once we add a, a product to our cart we can simply do a checkout or we can continue to the shopping and we have a payment service as well so just like a normal e-commerce app we have uh, a, a full-fledged functionality with this uh, demo application which is online boutique and to monitor all the uh, resource consumption or monitor all the networkings uh, of this uh, app we have set up a uh, Grafana dashboard where we are uh, checking all the uh, queries, all the uh, access duration of these uh, different services, which are yeah, so which are running as part of uh, uh, this boutique app. So we can see that a lot of services like ad service, ca card service, checkout service, currency service, etc., are running uh, on this application. And to track all the metrics, we have this uh, Grafana dashboard which is set up here. So let's start. Uh, let's start by creating an environment. So as, as, as I mentioned uh, uh, before the start of this demo, like an environment is basically uh, a place where you can uh, like differentiate between uh, the clusters, like is it a pre-production cluster or is it a production cluster and where do you want to do the chaos? So I'll just give it a name, uh, test uh, demo, and let me keep it as pre-production. And I'll create a new chaos infra. So chaos infra is basically the execution plane from which will be uh, which which allows us to like perform all these experiments and faults and target different applications so to start like we'll, i'll have to enable chaos on one of our one, one of the namespaces so let me just give it give it a name uh, demo um, webinar so now uh, i'll be providing the cluster wide access so we can we will be able to target a lot of applications if you want to uh, uh, keep it uh, uh, restricted to a single namespace, you can also select a namespace scope. So for the demo, I'll be using the cluster uh, wide access and I'll be installing it in the Litmus namespace with the Litmus service account. So I'll just click next and I'll click download. So this will download this, uh, this uh, uh, infra manifest. And once we apply this infra manifest, our uh, infra will be active and will be ready to uh, uh, target different applications from different namespaces. I'll just copy this command of apply and click done. We can see that uh, Kiosk Infra is enabled and it's, it's in pending state. So let me just go ahead and connect this uh, Infra.
So it is installing the execution plane or the chaos infra plane components. So it's installing different CRDs, uh, different components like the sub subscriber and some uh, RBACs as well. So I think this should be done in a couple of minutes or seconds. Yeah, so the uh, manifest app applying the manifest uh, process is done. Let me just check if all the components are up and running. Yeah, we can see that uh, the subscriber is up and running. So subscriber is basically uh, the execution plane component, which will allow us to uh, perform the chaos uh, experiments and perform all the chaos calls uh on, on different uh, different applications so we can see that uh, the kiosk infra is enabled and it and it is connected and we can uh, like we, we can get started with create creating the experiments and uh, and target uh, this uh, online boutique application so let's go back to the kiosk experiments page and like this is probably the best part of litmus 3.0 the flow with which you can create experiments is very seamless now so I'll start with uh, the experiment name. So I'll give it a name of uh, card service delete. And I'll select the demo webinar uh, kiosk infrastructure that I've just created. Click next. So uh, with kiosk studio, we get uh, three different type of options. Like uh, first we can create an experiment from scratch from a blank canvas or we can use the templates from the Kios Hub itself that is already uh, provided as part of the installation. And we can either uh, upload a YAML, uh, which is uh, completely user dependent. You, they can provide different spec, custom specs and provide different uh, uh, ENVs or uh, different values in the faults. And this is completely user specific. So for, for the demo, I'll be uh, uh, creating an experiment from scratch. I'll use the blank canvas uh, option and yeah, so here, like uh, in Kiosk Studio, uh, we have uh, a vast variety of uh, uh, functionalities. First of all, is ad addition of uh, different faults from the hub. So we uh, we can see that uh, uh, the Kiosk hub consists of large variety of faults. And for this demo, like we'll be using the port delete fault. And once I'll add the port delete fault, I I I can I, I can easily tune these uh, tune the variables uh, or the environment variables of this fault. And we have a function functionality of YAML uh, editor as well. If you want to add some additional changes in the YAML, you can just come here, edit the YAML and tune the uh, experiment manifest as well. So yeah, let's go with the basic flow. I'll just click on this add button and I'll uh, select this port delete. And once the port delete is selected, I, I'll be uh, shown up with this, uh, uh, this modal where we, we can select the application which we want to target. So, uh, I'll be targeting the uh, deployment in the boutique namespace uh, for the card service. So I've added this and to tune the fault, I can like uh, increase the kiosk duration. Let me increase the kiosk duration to 60 and the kiosk interval to uh, 20 seconds. And uh, the, these are some additional or optional uh, environments that uh, you can tune according to your needs and probes now coming to the probes like probes are uh, some additional checks that uh, we can add with our uh, fault execution so for this like will be uh, we have a boutique ui probe so which actually checks if uh, the online boutique application is available when the card service is down so this is basically an http probe we have uh, four different kind of kind of probes like http cmd ks and prometheus probes so each probe has its own functionality uh, depending upon the use cases. So for now, I will be uh, adding this probe and uh, I can decide when I want to run this probe. Uh, like we have several options like before the start of the uh, fault execution or end of the fault execution or edge. So in edge, it will start, uh, uh, it will start before the uh, experiment execution and uh, it will also uh, start at the end of the experiment execution and we have two different uh, modes which are continuous and on chaos. So for now I will uh, use the continuous uh, uh, mode and I'll apply the changes and to finalize the changes of uh, this fault, I will just click uh, apply changes. 
and yeah so we have successfully added a fault in our experiment which will actually delete this card service and uh, once the experiment starts we, we should be able to see uh, some some uh, increase in latency or some changes in the uh, query per seconds and it should be visible in the grafana dashboards and it should also be visible in this uh, online boutique app so let me just save this experiment and once the experiment is saved, you can either run it from this Chaos Studio or you can also uh, come back to this Chaos Experiment page and we have a run option here. So I'll just click run here and it should start the Chaos Experiment execution. To validate the same, I can go back to my uh, terminal and I can just check uh, if the experiment has started. Yeah, so we can see that the card service experiment uh, uh, to delete the card service uh, to delete the card uh, service pod has started yeah i can open a new terminal to check uh, the application is running in the boutique uh, namespace so get pods boutique yeah so we have the different services uh, running in the boutique namespace so let's let's wait for the pod delete uh, experiment to start and we should we should see some uh, some action in the dashboards as well yeah yeah since the experiment has started we can see that the online boutique uh, uh, the application availability has gone down and if i go back to the page i can see that this screen has popped up it shows oh there's something has happened one of the services down the application is not resilient and uh, the whole application is down and in, in, in the uh, Grafana dashboard, we can also see that the access duration of the front end services has gone down and similarly, the car service is also seeing a dip here and the queries are increasing because uh, 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 queries, the bad queries are actually increasing in uh, number for all the different services which are uh, present in this uh, boutique uh, uh, namespace. So once the experiment uh, is completed, we should see that uh, this should come back to its original state. And uh, like, yeah, well, I think the experiment has completed. So we, we can see that the application av availability is coming back. We can see that uh, the access duration is coming back to normal. And if I can go back and, okay, I have refreshed it. So yeah, the application is back online. So for, for this time period, uh, uh, for, for, for during the kiosk execution, the whole boutique application was down, which shows that this is not a resilient uh, application. So in case if uh, we might uh, uh, had a few more replicas of uh, the card services, maybe the front end, uh, maybe the UI would, wouldn't have uh, had crashed and it would have been resilient. So coming back to the screen, I can see that uh, my ex uh, experiment execution is completed, but we can see that uh, it has completed with some, some sort of fault because uh, the boutique ui was not available at all Let me just go back yeah so we can see that uh, the experiment execution has completed but the probe was failing because the probe was actually checking if this uh, uh, boutique application is available or not if we are getting a 200 response code or not but uh, we actually got a 500 uh, response code which is a bad request so yeah, so this 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 was the pluggable check that we added uh, on uh, on 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 this uh, uh, port delete fault, and to see the different properties that we have already configured uh, in the resilience probe section. So yeah, so the experiment execution has completed, but uh, uh, the result that we were expecting uh, was not uh, there because the probe has failed and the application is not resilient at all. To make the application resilient, we can we, we can uh, follow some countermeasures like we can increase the replica count of uh, uh, the card services and other services so that if one of the port get, uh, gets impacted, the whole application will not go down. So yeah, and to see the different uh, uh, stats like we have this new flow new flow of the UI where we can see all the uh, uh, experiment list we can go here and create a, uh, a new experiment like for example we can create a uh, let's say checkout service uh, checkout service latency and select a infra and let's start from the scratch itself and create a 
network latency fault to target the fault i can just go here select the namespace and this for the checkout service i'll select this and click apply and i'll add the probe uh, I, I i can use the same probe uh, here as well so these probes since they are like uh, a separate entity now they can be used anywhere in all all the all of our experiments so i can click apply and i can just save this so with the new flow we can actually see all our experiments listed here and with the experiments we can also see the uh, recent 10 experiments so i have executed this one so it shows like uh, the experiment has uh, completely executed but the score is zero since the uh, uh, probe has failed so yeah, this is the new UI. And apart from that, as Saranya mentioned, like we have the environments uh, functionality, which actually differentiates between a pre-prod environment and a prod environment. And the uh, resilience probe. Uh, so th this is a completely separate uh, entity. Now we can create some new probes like HTTP command, Prometheus and Kubernetes probe. And we can then use these probes in our experiment. So uh, since we have used this, uh, uh, probe in one of our experiments we can actually uh, backtrack it and see that this particular fault has used this uh, uh, probe which which was the continuous probe that i have uh, uh, continuous mode that i have provided and the pro probe configurations are also visible here so yeah and we have the chaos hub chaos hub was uh, essential part uh, since litmus 2.0 where we had basically a marketplace of all the different faults you can connect your own for, uh, own uh, chaos with uh, your own customized faults and yeah so as a uh, as an overview like this is uh, what we have added uh, as part of uh, uh, as an overview this is uh, what we have added as part of uh, litmus 3.2 and um, yeah i hope uh, you guys will give it a shot and uh, please please let us know how how's the experience uh, with litmus 3.2 yeah over to you uh, saranya uh, so thank you, Amit. The demo was really uh, awesome. And uh, with that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we have a monthly release cadence of uh, release cadence that uh, every 15th of the month <clears throat> we uh, make a release and we roll out new features and and enhancements. And so with with the valuable with the valuable feedback from the community after the 3.0 uh here are some of the features uh, uh or the enhancement that we added in 3.1 so one of those uh is uh stopping of uh, chaos experiments so uh when in 3.1 we uh added a feature uh that can uh that can help user enable users to stop the ongoing experiments and uh, so it is uh, uh use uh, like uh, useful in case uh, of long running experiments which are kind of which have been stuck or pending for a running for a long time uh, users can stop them and uh, like this feature gives them more uh, flexibility and control over them so yeah and another one was uh, like another one is uh, enabling uh, like enabling users to toggle the uh, toggle the experiments from non cron to cron and vice versa so this is one of the this is also one of the features that uh, was suggested by the users uh, that, that was suggested by the uh, by the community uh, that uh, like uh, uh, while stopping the experiments or like in general uh, users can just uh, toggle the experiments like uh, to from cron to non cron or uh, like or the vice versa so this feature has also been uh, added along with the stop experiment feature. So yeah, and uh, other uh, uh, focus was also on enhancement and stability of the uh, chaos center. So focusing in 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 uh, in addition to these features, uh, the LFX mentees and other the community members have also added unit test in uh, both backend and in the front end as well. So we have now uh, like add, uh, like front end uh, coverage has been also like is on track and we will soon be adding more unit tests to, to make the code base stable and uh, some uh, like um, uh, like coverage checks as also have uh, also been added as part of the PR uh, PR reviewing process so that uh, uh, any new contributor, if if anyone wants to contribute, they can like uh, like it. It ensures the stability and uh, the quality of the product if we are adding this uh, check in the PR uh, pipeline process. 
so that's that and other than that uh, we have like uh, uh, regular bug fixes and enhancement that are also going in along with uh, the uh, along with the other features so yeah that was uh, that was all uh, and in the upcoming releases we are also planning to add more and more features and uh, yeah that that's it and lastly i um lastly i just wanted to uh inform like i just wanted to uh let the community know that if if anyone uh if anyone interested in joining the community and get started with the kiosk experimentation or wants to contribute to the litmus uh kiosk they can join the uh litmus channel in the kubernetes slack and uh, second, uh, secondly, is the Litmus 3.0 uh, documentation. So with the latest uh, release, we have also updated the documentation. So uh, 3.0 documentation can be found uh, found here. And uh, here you can like get all the details, uh, like all the, um, all the uh, things that you need to know in 3.0 and uh, uh, we have the concept section, which are brief, which briefly describe all the uh, new features or the uh, or the enhancement that has been added that have been added, and and there is the user guide section, which will help uh, the community to get started with the starting from the installation to the uh, setting up the execution plane, then uh, how to uh, inject uh, inject uh, chaos schedule of fast chaos experiment inject false and uh, create resiliency probes so these all have been these are all uh, being covered in the documentation and we also have the troubleshooting section uh, where uh, if if any problems uh, face we, you can users can uh, definitely uh, check out this uh, the, the troubleshooting section or you can uh, or the users can uh, uh, like put uh, their uh, put the message in the uh, in the slack channel in the litmus channel so that uh, we can uh, we can help you get started and uh, yeah that is that and so with this i i hope you like this uh, like this session and uh, uh, yeah thank you thank you everybody